Okay, the election's over and I'm getting tons of questions. What's gonna happen to Lake Martin Real Estate after the election? I'm also getting tons of questions. What is an, an updated market report? So this video is gonna answer those two questions. Number one, what's gonna happen to Lake Martin Real Estate because of the presidential election? And then number two, I'm gonna bring you up to date through the end of September, 2024. Okay, so like I said, I'll get to the presidential stuff in a second, but I wanted to cover this first. What's happened, this is year to date through the end of September 2024 for waterfront stuff. What's happening? More of the same for 2024. The uh, year to date home sales are actually almost even with 2023, so that's a wash. I've been saying this for 18 months or more, but inventory is the story here. Okay, we are 59% up from September of 2023. We are 41% above our five-year average for inventory. Compare that to our five-year average, we're actually lower, 26% lower than our five-year average for sales. So somebody asked me the 80,000 foot view, it's sales are down, inventory's up with homes. That's the same story. What's happening with lots? Lots, it seems like always lag about a year. You can go backwards to some videos I've done in the past. Lots, actually lot sales are up about 15% this year, but they're lower, 12% lower than our five-year average. Inventory is actually a little bit lower, 16% down, and, and about the same, 16% down from our five-year average in the inventory. So again, more of the same for 2024, but how does that poise us going into the future now that the election is over? I get these questions all the time because I'm a full-time real estate agent here, and I get a lot of my clients through these videos, that's why I do them. I do them to help my buyers and my sellers. So if I, can, if I can help you out, I'd love to. So on to the presidential stuff. Okay, so to try to answer the question, what is the first year of the second Trump uh, administration gonna look like? I wanted to look in the past and to see what the transfers of power have done to Lake Martin Real Estate in the past. Now, before I get into this, if you tuned in for some big like mic drop, you know, against like whatever party you're with, you can go ahead and turn it off now. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna show you the raw numbers and then give my opinion on where we're going in the future. So here we go. All right, so in 2005, the transition between the Bush one and the Bush two, it was down about 7%, okay? So a little bit of a swing. Actually, 2005 was a, a really good year. So I was kind of surprised a little bit to see that, but, uh, down a little bit about 7%. And that was the, we were actually, we knew then we were coming off of another uh, high that we didn't know that until years later. Okay, so what happened in 2000? This is a little bit more interesting to me because it's a, a political shift, right? It's from Bush two to Obama, Obama first, uh, his first uh, realm of power. All right, and so in 2009, what happened? The market went up 40% in 2009. So the first inclination is to go, whoa, Obama kicked it in 2009, 40% above Bush's second term. Not so fast, my friends. Do we remember what went on in, bank, in, in the banking industry in 2008? I know I remembered. I was trying to sell real estate back then. I had just bought a house back then. I was worried to death. The 2008 housing crisis, July of 2008 actually, was the worst month. It was the exact bottom of our market. Don't know where but it was for you, but at Lake Martin, 2008 was the bottom. So 2009, anything less than suffocating is 40% is higher. But hey, given the scoreboard, I'm, I'm a scoreboard kind of guy, 40% above, you know, hey, scoreboard. All right, so what happened? Uh, in the transition year in 2013, from Obama's first term to his second term, what happened? It was almost dead equal. It was like, b b b like in, like maybe one or two houses different. Okay, so no big lessons there. All right, so moving along, what happened in the transition from Obama's second term to Trump's first term in 2017? Actually, 2017 was 20 percent higher than 2016. And so, all right, we said it for Obama, scoreboard, right? Okay, let's give Trump the scoreboard there. Interestingly enough, the bulk of that 20% gain came in the first several months, January, February, and April of 2017. I don't know really what that means. I don't know if it was, I don't think it was, was presidential optimism because you can go back and look at the, it, I've, I've done these market reports since 2007. You go back and look at what I was saying in 2017, 
I wasn't hearing presidential optimism from people when they're buying lake houses. I was just hearing that they wanted lake houses. But it did, the first quarter basically made that year of 2017 better than 2016, okay? So what happened in the transition from Trump's first term to Biden's first term in 2021? It dropped 22%. Again, I'm a school board guy. Wow, what did Biden do that happened that made 2021 be 22% less than the previous year? Well, again, I can't lay that one on Biden because if you remember, I'm sure you do, COVID-19 really hit in 2020. That is the year that real estate went crazy. We can, we can see it when we look in our charts, go back and look at some of my prior stuff. That's the anomaly year here at Lake Martin, and it's the anomaly year everywhere in real estate. So, I don't think it's really fair to hang that one all on Biden um, for that one year um, because he decreased 22%. So, so what does that mean looking forward? Okay, we're looking forward to 2025. Uh, you know, it looks like to me really a mixed bag, you know, because when you subtract the craziness, as crazy as COVID was in 2020, I was selling real estate in 08, it was way crazier then and it was crazy to the downside. So in my mind, mentally, I block this year out I blocked that year out because world-shaking things literally happened in those two years. All right, so that leaves us with Obama 2 to Trump 1, and that leaves us to uh, Bush 1 to 2. What kind of information can we draw? I mean, it's the first quarter there. Again, you can go back and look at what I said in 17 if you think I'm a hypocrite, and even in 09. But I've got to see that my overall thought and my overall thesis is it is way more important uh, to look locally. It's way more important that what happens in on your at your kitchen table than what happens in the Oval Office. These numbers cannot really predict where the Lake Martin real estate market is going to go. I, I, I hear you some of you say, eh, interest rates, maybe. I, I think I saw interest rates have a secondary reaction in 2023. I agree, but that's a secondary reaction. That's a little bit of a correction steer, I think. They can't control them anyway. So when I'm talking to buyers and sellers and somebody says to me, and, and, and they have, hey, I'm waiting until after the election. I usually say, hey, okay, that's fine if it makes sense for you. Like, look at your personal finances, look at your personal goals. If that makes sense, go for it, yeah? But don't hang your hopes on, on prophets, priests, and kings in this world because it's not, it's not what is gonna drive Lake Martin Real Estate. If you're a buyer, come on. You know, I've never, I, I've had a, a, a video about this before. I've never heard anybody say, yeah, we really enjoyed our lake house, except for that, you know, that one term of that president or that, that president. Don't worry about it. If you're a seller and you've had this house for 20 years or two years and you think now's the time to right, is the right time to sell for your family, that's way more important than what president is going in or out of office. So I hope that gives you a little bit of historical context and I hope it gives you a little bit of backup of why I would say, hey, don't worry about these numbers, because if I thought it had some kind of relation to the microeconomic situation here, I would tell you. I'm not afraid to give my opinion, but when I do give it, I try to bracket it up with facts. And if you are in need of some more facts, if you're wondering where I came up with these percentages, you can just comment on YouTube below, numbers, and I can email you the numbers behind all this. I'll be glad to do it. And But again, I do this for a living. I'm a real estate agent here, and I would love to help you out, because this is how I get a lot of my clients. So give me a holler. I'm John Coley with Lake Martin Voice Realty, and I'd love to help you out if you think we'd be a good fit. Thanks.